Welcome back to WeConnect. I have with me Mr. Raja Karna. He's Deputy High Commissioner for Sri Lanka for South India. He's here with me on our program and we've been discussing many things related to Sri Lanka and India. Now, sir, you have been now on this assignment for the past, what, seven or eight months, I think it is. I was just wondering how you're settling down. How is it going for you? Of course, uh, coming to, to Chennai as a Deputy High Commissioner is an uh, important assignment. Very important, and, I would say. Uh, <laughs> quite contrary to the impressions that uh, I would have had before coming here. Mm. But when I landed here, I uh, noticed a situation quite, quite different. Uh, I saw a, a, a friendly environment, uh, like-minded people uh, around us, and uh, quite a uh, happy uh, and uh, pleasant uh, working right. situation here in Chennai. And uh, so, with the people, I think always uh, we enjoy a, a good uh, level of reception from the people, from other level of uh, business or, or, or otherwise. So generally, this is a uh, this is a uh, pleasant place to to work. Really, yeah. so I was just wondering, have you had much uh, chance to interact with the local uh, political uh, bosses, and have you been able to, you know, sort of meet with them often and kind of try to come to some kind of, uh, you know, rapprochement, as it were, in you know, in what's going on? Uh, yes, to a certain extent, I uh, had the opportunity to meet with the honourable governor. Uh, of Tamil Nadu and also the Chief Secretary and other senior officials uh, and several members of parliament uh, uh, here and uh, a few other politicians uh, in, in, this, uh, in, in, in Tamil Nadu mm. as well as uh, business leaders here, uh, various uh, think tanks and other organizations, universities. So basically, we are interacting with a wide uh, cross section of the Tamil Nadu society here. And from all of them, really, we are receiving uh, quite encouraging uh, support uh, and uh, uh, encouragement, basically, that uh, to suggest that uh, uh, they also share the view that relationship with Sri Lanka is, is important and that uh, it is something to be further uh, promoted. Uh, especially in this, uh, uh, in the present context of interdependence, Indeed. and uh, uh, they share the view that uh, your close neighbour cannot be ignored. Uh, your close neighbour has to be taken into account, especially in 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 dealing with the the you know, economic relations, cultural relations, religious activities in all these spheres. Right, and uh, when you think about it, I don't think any. any any country can be closer to Tamil Nadu than, than Sri Lanka. I mean, you know, it's just a stone's throw away virtually. Now, before this posting, you were, I think, in South Africa. You were the ambassador to South Africa. And then you then went into Sri Lanka, into the Ministry of External Affairs. I was wondering, as, as a diplomat, you know, how do you find the switch when you go from one country as, it's, as the ambassador of your own country, then you go back into your own uh, environment in your own country, then you come back to somewhere as important as, uh, as uh, in fact, uh, Tamil Nadu is, as South India is. Uh, is the transition easy for a diplomat? Do you believe that it makes you uh, far more knowledgeable when you're actually here physically? And then tomorrow, if, if you should go back in a, in a very senior, even more senior posting in Colombo, is it a good thing that you've actually been on the ground here? Yes, certainly. Uh, when you're on the ground, it helps you to understand uh, better and uh, you experience firsthand what is happening there. And uh, especially uh, sometimes uh, uh, in the present context, uh, what you see in the media reports would not reflect the reality on the ground. Uh, that's what I said earlier also. Yes. When I came here, I could see a completely different situation. I see a, a quite a friendly uh, uh, atmosphere here. So I think uh, uh, it's quite helpful when you are uh, uh, on the ground, and especially Chennai uh, in uh, Tamil Nadu, uh, for me personally, it was not a difficult uh, adjustment process. Uh, again, we are very much uh, 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 having a very uh, commonalities in many respects: a shared culture, a shared history, a shared uh, religious belief system. With all that, compared to my previous assignments. 
I did not see that much of, uh, or at all, any uh, at all uh, 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 adjustment uh, difficulty here. I saw a, a similar uh, a group of uh, people, a population here uh, in, in Tamil Nadu, in Chennai. So it's very much a, a conducive uh, situation here uh, to, to base and, and work uh, to promote Sri Lanka's relations. Right. Uh, I'm going to switch back now to Sri Lanka itself and just ask you, uh, uh, if the Tamil population in Sri Lanka, do you see a complete uh, amalgamation of, of uh, you know, the Tamils who live in, say, the north and the eastern part of Sri Lanka, to see them completely amalgamating themselves into the mainstream in terms of politics and in terms of, you know, very much more, uh, act, be, being very much more active within the whole uh, Sri Lankan setup. And I'm, I'm merely saying this as a way of going ahead, as a way of looking forward. And thank you for asking that question. It, this is indeed what is happening now in Sri Lanka. Is it? Uh, Explain uh, it to me. This is uh, not much uh, known uh, 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 still to the outside world. Outside world still views that there is uh, some conflict is again going on. Uh, two group of people are basically uh, 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 living separately and, and fighting with mm. each other. This is a kind of a image that uh, certain uh, groups, uh, certain uh, actors trying to to, to, to project, but in Sri Lanka, both Tamil people and Sinhalese as well as Muslim people, uh, three, these three major communities now live in harmony. They in fact live in side by side, uh, be it in Colombo, be it in the north, uh, eastern oh, province yeah. or in the north province. So, and also people now uh, uh, they travel freely. Yes. To to uh, different forth, yes. yeah back and forth, mm -hmm. and so this is a very much now uh, uh, social uh, process of the social integration after 30 years of war, and uh, uh, we had a situation before the the beginning of the conflict situation where there were a lot of intermarriages, uh, yes. a lot of uh, cultural exchanges between especially between the Tamils and the Sinhalese right. communities. Mm -hmm. We are looking forward to of course a very close interactions. Uh, now in this post-conflict situation with our Tamil uh, uh, right. uh, brethren in Sri Lanka. Right. And so, so, and finally, I'm going to just end by requesting you because it is for people like you to make people like us and so many other people who are watching shows like this to actually make them aware of what's going on. And really on that, uh, I would say very positive note, I'd like to thank you so much indeed for being here with me. Please thank try to make us me. more aware of what's going on in yeah. your beautiful yeah. country, yeah. for it is in fact a beautiful yeah. country. Well, that's all we have time for here on WeConnect. It's been my pleasure that you could join us on this program to listen here to the Sri Lankan Deputy High Commissioner for South India. It's been fascinating to talk with him. And do remember to keep watching us every single weekend on this program. You'll always meet people who are interesting, people who are fascinating, and I do believe people who always have a story to tell us. And so until the next weekend, you take care. Bye for now.